Oh boy. I assume we'll be going there, unfortunately. <coughs> <coughs> I'm tired of reminding you the master key must remain at the front desk and nowhere else. Frequent alarms do not give you the right to use this key for personal business. P.S. As of September 12th, there's no key in place. Jan, I know you took it. Give it back or I will be forced to find you. The Kronos logo is flashing on a public terminal near the transit zone, right below it, the cursor is blinking. Greetings employee, enter a command to execute the desired action. The, green, the screen goes dark for a moment then the terminal emits a high pitched beep. Line after line of delivery data fill the display. September 1st, received case, sorry, 19, 1976, received cases for small relics, 20 pieces, wayward cigarettes in cartons, one box. September 3rd. Sent. Small and medium sized relics in cases, 15 pieces. Dead high capacity batteries, 50 pieces. September 7th. Received. Firearms ammo, various kinds, 5 boxes. September 8th. Sent. Arch Archaeotechnical device elements, Mobius type, small container, 1 piece. September 13th. Received. Blackwing cargo classified. Medium sized container with independent power supply, 1 piece. <coughs> you log in, but the menu remains unchanged. Stop it. There are traces and fractals, traces and fractals. Maybe I should not be doing this to these poor people. I'm not gonna be able to catch up, am I? Is it just here?
let's see what other weapon I should use now. This one, I suppose. Let me use like a personal storage box. There's a pubic terminal there. Not on board. I already read this, I think. Oh, wait, it's behind this door, not this door. This is a mistake coming here. Terminals. You can't stop me. Greetings, Emperor. Enter command. Sinic, the nature of the so called sinic effect exhibited by a subset of relics remain obscure. For all we know, the hypothetical particle dot psion in our laboratory, sorry, psion? psion? might be completely unrelated to the four known types of physical interaction. That's it. That's why I hacked. <coughs> Psionics, critique. The theory that relics influence the psy psyche in a psy physical way is questionable. We are likely dealing with self-suggestion, with wishful thinking and even mass hysteria in some cases. Entities must not be multiplied beyond necessity. Neuro interfaces. Thanks to our latest research, we are now one step closer to the technical implementation of a human machine neuro interface. This new tech offers a wide array of opportunities in several branches of engineering. First and foremost, it lets us create it lets us create giant humanoid robot robots. <laughs> Alrighty. The do the door opens quietly, almost inaudibly. In a dim room saturated with pale lamplight, you see a woman, a tall woman, surely. She's sitting on a bench, head in her hands, indistinct words blurring into sobs reach her ears. You listen closely, the woman is singing. See a bright and tiny spark lies a traveler in the dark. Her voice is shaky and she won't lift her head. <coughs> Knock gently on the wall so as do not startle her. The woman stops singing and slowly lifts her head. She flinches a little when she sees you. Raising her careless flashlight, she examines you anxiously. Her silver uniform is covered with a spray of mud and blood, her badge is torn off, and in its place a bloody handprint has been swiped across her whole jacket. I'm all ears. The silver lowers her communicator and turns the flashlight off while keeping an eye on you. You, you aren't mad, and you aren't from here. <coughs> yes, she's Decker. Tell her Ginsburg went, no, tell her she's right and ask what was written on her badge. Introduce yourself and ask what her name is. The woman fiddles with her hair trying to soothe it back from her face. Decker Schwartz, Louis Decker Schwartz, Silver Ring, Mag Magellan Base. The silver awkwardly rises to her feet. I reckon you're from the rescue team. Well, as the expedition leader, I'll bring you up to date. The mission has failed, our technician is dead, our guard disappeared, the orange ran off, and the white is slowly going mad. That's my short report on the mission results. If you need more information, feel free to ask. I 
something off. She dabs at her dabs her eyes with a handkerchief. I'm not a scientist or a doctor, I don't know what's going on here, but I do know that according to protocol we have to contact our superiors at Magellan first chance we get for further instructions. <clears throat> Why haven't you done that? She scowls. I told you, Maria tried to restore the connection and died. She sits back down and hands clutched to her temples. When they ate Maria, we locked the door at, to the command center. Take the key. Restoring the connection is top priority now. Excuse me, I feel weird. I think I have a fever and my head is just throbbing. Louise leans back and fans herself exhausted. See you later. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, see you later. <coughs> The door's side drum port was clumsily broken at some point. You can hear a quiet drone from behind the door. A small silver plate reading computer room points at the source. Knock on the door. You can hear footsteps in the room, quiet but heavy. Forgot. The man locked inside approaches the door. Is that you, Louis? Open the door already. Enough of the CDRC. For once, try being professional. <coughs> Silence hangs in the computer room for a few moments. I'm glad to hear you aren't, Louis. As you can see, she and I aren't quite hitting it off. The door slides open an inch in the dark computer room beyond a pair of spectacles with flashed the light. Ronald Steele, White Wing, I'm a member of the expedition crew, apparently a former member. My colleague decided I was dangerous and locked me in here. <coughs> the scientist regards you through the gap between the doors for some time. Look, I don't have time to prove I'm normal, just open the door, we don't have much time. Time you do your best to open door and leave. See ya. There's no records about the emanation. I have one theory. The emanation abruptly surpassed the level that is fatal for consciousness. The person who emerges from the dark computer room looks nothing like a scientist. His broad shoulders and military bearing resemble those of an elite forces officer. Only the silver badge that says R Ronald Steele, physicist, and the lab uniform suggests he works for White Wing. Oh. <coughs> Still shakes her hand. It's nice to, s nice to see living people for a change, even you, Louise. Decker Schultz is watching him intently. She snorts a laugh. Do you think he'll look normal? You were laughing and chanting. Sarovsky is right. Sarovsky is right. That's because Sarovsky was right. Everything he said was right. This halo eye effect isn't an autonomous phenomenon. It's a link in a chain of symptoms. If anyone but his colleagues listened to Gabriel, none of this would have happened. Ronald spreads his arms in agitation. His angry outburst ends as quickly as it started. Anyway, let's decide what we're gonna do. We're sitting on the proverbial ticking time bomb. What do you propose? <coughs> the right looks from Louis to you. Let's stick to the protocol. First of all, you must contact Magellan. Then the main phase of the operation can begin. He takes a twice folded piece of paper out of his pocket. I did the calculations. It turns out that the base is in a kind of a bubble. The strength of the radiation inside the bubble is uneven. And the nature of the wave prop propagation suggests that the source is down there in the excavation zone. Still nods at the door to the computer room. When I was done with my calculations, I found some notes regarding relic excavation. Apparently they did find something. Not quite ordinary. I just put two and two together and came to the conclusion that finding caused all this. Alright. But I'm, I'm gonna go there. I don't want to so good. Let's go, quick. Luis, are you ready? I can see you're not feeling well, but you need to pull yourself together. And Luis crows. Decker Schwartz says in a resounding voice. What do you mean? The silver lifts her head, rings of white light are beginning to flicker in her eyes. Did you see how many of them flocked to Nashville? Some even managed to make it down here. You and Steve exchange looks. A grimace of frustration spreads over the white's face. Shit, let's hurry it up, the relic is down there somewhere. Hold up. You have to contact my John first. <coughs> well, fellas, who wants to die?
Oh boy. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I don't like this, not one bit. Becoming so rich. Dang whispers. Just won't stop, will they? You know what? We're not gonna wear that actually. Oh boy. I forgot to reload. What did you just do, buddy? I might die here. Pretty sure to write the save, huh? Oh boy. Oh 
Oh, he died. Oh, shoot. I think I... I oh, boy. Oh, that's real bad, huh? 